Hi, so what I've got here is the One How Duplicator i3 Mini. It's a printer I'm quite excited about and not because of the things a lot of people get excited about. Oh, big build volume, print with anything, those sorts of things. What I like about this machine is it's meant to be a simple, straightforward printer for beginners. And I think that this may be the nicest machine to consider for kids, for schools and things like that. But until I get out of the box, I'm not gonna know. So let's get that done, get it out, set it up and get printing with this thing. So straight out of the box, it comes out, there's a few cable ties to cut, everything in there. The only assembly, as far as I can tell, is to put the spool holder on, which uh, I'll do quickly. The nut slides in the side. So spool holder screws on, it's a nut that slides in, that screws on, and that's about the only assembly there is to this. If we look inside the box that came with it, uh, that is uh, some PLA, a USB cable plug with a South African plug on it, which is nice. Scraper and these scrapers from them are quite nice. Some tools, some glue, a nozzle cleaner, and something. Let's see how hard it is to get a first print out of this. It's a nice long cable. into power and on. Start off with a bed level and see what we get. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so what they've done here is guided bed leveling. It's very similar to what the Ultimaker does. You stick the card underneath, see if it's got a little bit of resistance. Okay, so first one, you go next. Okay. Okay, next. It's good. Right, and that's pretty much it. So, let's get some filament in. I'm gonna put it that way around. 
Let's see if we can get filament loaded. Uh, see what we need. Add filament. It looks like it's homing. Home to the bottom and then I think it's going to lift again. And it's busy preheating. Oops. There. Oh, there's a light inside the, the control button. Okay, still preheating the extruder. Let me get this ready so long. See how fiddly this is. See, this thing wants to go and feed all the way through. I'm gonna just push it through and see if I can. Do that, there we go, filament coming out. Put it extrude a bit. Sure, and again, done. Yeah, so that, that really is pretty straightforward. So far, that, that's been very, very easy to, to get together. All right, and all that's left is, let's see if we can do a first print. It's heating to start its first print. Heating the hot end to 195. And I haven't put anything on the bed. I'm literally just printing as it, as it is out the box to see what happens. A little bit of oozing around the nozzle. And extruding a bit. Extruding a lot. Rafts are very, very common for unheated beds. To get it to stick to the bed, it just allows a first surface to go down that it can actually build on. In machines like the MakerBot Mini, the, the raft is there because it's, you can't level the bed, it's just got issues. Where here, at least the bed can be leveled and that, that should mean that in theory you don't need a raft. It should just be that if it, if it sticks to the bed, it goes and it prints. But if, if you have any problems, a raft is the easiest way to solve things like bed leveling and in some cases bed adhesion. And I think I'm just going to let this print now and get on with it. All right, I'll set up a time lapse and let it film this as it goes. So what are my first thoughts on this machine? It's small, it prints nicely, it's easy to use. I think that's a winning combination here. It's, in my opinion, suitable for children, schools, 
it comes in at a cost point which is really really affordable and on that note I'd like to thank Paul from 3dprintingstore.co.za for letting me use this machine. Thank you very much for that. You guys should check out his website. If this is the kind of machine that you'd be interested in, I really recommend you subscribe to this channel, hit the bell so you get your updates, and stay tuned for more information because I am going to put this machine through the ringer and let you know my final thoughts on it. For now, keep well and check out some of my other videos. See you later. <laughs> to make his music candy cane. <laughs>